As Russia threatens tougher action against the US, if it continues arming Ukraine, six US Air Force F-22 Raptor stealth fighters have arrived in England on their way to Poland. This deployment is unprecedented for the world's most capable air-to-air -air fighter. F-22s have visited Poland before, but it was only two of them on what was more of a quick goodwill and reassurance mission than a deployment. The fifth-generation fighter jets are from the 90th Fighter Squadron, part of the Air Force's third wing at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson, Alaska, the flying branch announced in a media release Wednesday. They arrived at RAF Lakenheath in England on Tuesday, en route to the 32nd Tactical Air Base in Osk, Poland. Once deployed, the unit will be referred to as the 90th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron and will be supporting the NATO air shielding mission. The NATO air shielding mission brings together Allied air and surface-based air and missile defense units under NATO's command and control, that mission will provide a near-seamless shield from the Baltic to Black Seas, ensuring NATO allies are better able to safeguard and protect alliance territory, populations and forces from air and missile threat, the Air Force said in its release. It's part of an increased effort by the US and its NATO partners to boost the aerial presence in the region, something that began to tick up long before Russia invaded Ukraine in a failed effort to dissuade Vladimir Putin from taking action and to bolster NATO's eastern flank if he did. But since then, 120 jets have been placed on high alert, retired Air Force Gen. Todd Walters, then commander of US European Command and Supreme Allied Commander Europe, told a meeting of NATO defense chiefs in May. There has been a 50% increase of fighter jets patrolling the skies, he said, Poland, meanwhile, has become a staging ground for foreign arms and other military supplies heading into Ukraine and has provided various weapons like tanks and howitzers itself. The Polish government is also working to bolster its own defenses, purchasing U.S. Abrams' main battle tanks and, recently, tanks, howitzers, and aircraft from South Korea. As a result of the influx of arms to Ukraine, Konstantin Gavrilov, head of Russia's delegation on arms control in Vienna, threatened tougher actions against the West, according to the Kyiv Independent, these are just the latest U.S. fighters to arrive in Poland, Marine F-A-18 Hornets from the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, MA, are also at OSC Air Base, deployed to enhance NATO's capabilities in Eastern Europe at the invitation of Poland, according to that service. Poland is strategically located, sharing long borders with Belarus and Ukraine. Its airspace is now defended by Poland's own F-16s and MiG-29s, assisted by U.S. fighters, including F-35 as flying from Spingdalem in Germany. E-3 AWACS aircraft have also been a constant fixture in the region to support NATO fighter flights near the Ukraine and Belarus borders, as are KC-135 tankers to support these operations. NATO says it has been heavily bolstering its eastern flank since the turn of the year in response to Russia's military build-up on Ukraine's border and eventual invasion. NATO air forces have bolstered their presence in the eastern part of the alliance helping to shield NATO against any aggression, said Headquarters Allied Air Command Chief of Staff, Major General Jorg Lebert in a May release. Several dozen fighter jets are on alert at any time to respond to possible airspace violations and to deter aggression.